basically. The Elite yes. Four and the Champion. That, that became a tradition. Fun. Yeah, it, it was good for a mix-up once, but the real mix-up, seeing red in Pokemon Gold. Huh? That was cool. The mountain seeing, top? Seeing red on the mountain yeah. top after beating uh, Johto, then Sinnoh, and then you go up to whatever mountain it's called, and you see him there just chilling in the snow in short sleeve. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Just like this game is going to be right yeah. here. He's like one of those people who go jogging in the winter in yeah. shorts. Yeah, he's, he's a white guy. Like I, <laughs> yeah. He's a Coloradoan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some really are. good setups here. What are we going to see? Welcome to neutral. This platform is everything for Belmont, particularly the Battlefield platforms, uh, because Belmont has such a bad standing jump. Yes. That, that is canonical to the games, too. True. Uh, <laughs> that you can set up a consistent, reliable, no impact land on the battlefield platforms. Hmm. Which means so much when it comes to just establishing anti-airs with your grounded moves because you can instantly get to the platform, no ending lag required. Right. It's really good for setups. What are we gonna see here? My god, that tipper already and Dill behind in percentage. This was what I was talking about a little bit earlier, Swiss. Like, it's just all stage control. Like, you respect Gyro, you take it out of play by blocking it or tossing it up, and then chip it, chip, chip away. We've seen it happen in multiple levels of play from Melly and Dill to T3 Dom and MK Leo, where Dom was able to beat Leo's Rob and officially put it into retirement. Right. What I do want to see is more punishment from Dill, like, because oh, what Melly's sure. been doing very well Ooh. is being able to dive onto shields, punish free. And I don't think Dill's going to let that happen for very long. It's going to be good for a mix-up after the first time, and then never again. That was such a scary position there from Dill, uh, from Nelly, able to push Dill into the, uh, able to oh push himself gosh, into the sure corner. Here still, we go. We're still surviving. Are we just cheat shit with an up air? Yeah, we are. Yeah, trying to chase. My goodness, what a shield poke. Benji and take off enough shield just to get the head. And the rotor arm's coming in. And Melly being like, that's okay. I took the first stock. First blood. Momentum's still here. Melly, uh, Belmonts in general operate on uh, what I like to call soap bubble theory. Soap bubble? Soap bubble. Or just normal bubble, I guess. But soap bubble is more fun to say. Yeah. Um, one touch and they're gone. But oh, yeah, yeah. You've got to fun you've got to actually like see and catch the bubble before you can actually pop it. Oh. So the, and all the all that reaching out you do, all that attempts to extend and find and get that bubble off stage so you can pop it, you're getting caught by a cross, a whip, a, a, a exactly. bottle. <laughs> Everything's happening. He's just throwing the entire kitchen sink at you. Hello. Oh. All right. One one good thing Dill loves to do in these sorts of matchups where you know, they're trying to get like stage control maintained it is they'll just camp in the air. Yeah. Might as well. Out. You can't yeah, you can't chase. When you've got the fuel, Rob can create the space for air by themselves. So just go, just ascend. And it becomes a mix of then, like so, of Dill just skipping ledge and skipping that long disadvantage stage and getting right back to stage. Out of gas, though, had to land. Yep, if you ever want to skip neutral, just play Rob. Rob do be doing that sometimes. Oh my gosh, the shield pressure for Melly is crazy. Yeah, that shield is really, really low. I like these. Eventually, up tilts will close out the stock as well. So Melly can just kind of play the anti air game if they want to play super slow. Yep, you have time. Just be patient. Don't overextend. Get that out shield punish. All right, Dill. Out shield. Dill leaning in close. You know, it's super serious. Ooh. Yeah, still cooking here. Just that extra little bit. Another. Holy water. Neat screen like that. Mid air as well. Very nice placement there on the part of Melly. Who's continuing? It's all smash tosses as well from these crosses. Just let me get this as far as possible. Consume as much of this horizontal as I can, and as much as I can. Right, because yes, Rob is still scary vertically, but you only have so many options compared to the ground. Oh no, here it comes. There's that punch I was looking for. Yeah, tracking on the on the dive kick. In comparison to some other characters we've seen throughout the bracket here, Belmont's uh, movement stats, abysmal. Uh, that combo wasn't even true, but you're just so guaranteed that Melly's not going anywhere that you can chase with the up air anyway. Yeah, it's free. It's just right there. Like, all right, speaking of which, this stock may be right there for Dill as long as they can keep this combo going. Ooh, but a good cross. Getting them out of that situation. 
Yeah, the drag down up air pop out just kind of turned that neutral win into a neutral loss because Melee was just instantly ready to get oh, out of that situation. Gyro. They just picked that up. Probably from the tilt. Didn't even see that. Uh oh. Oh, the coverage of the tech roll. Ooh, Playing middle see? platform instead, though. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is extremely tight right now, Swiss, as we are dodging the holy water. They're going to make it back. Maybe a dive? That's going to be Oh, no. Wow, the jump Ooh. was able to... Oh, no, they dove back on the platform. Okay, what do we see? It's tense. They're trying to cover everything. I love the patience from Dill on the platform, but we are hunting. No, this Throwing out so it. many covers down don't throw nash, up don't to... Oh, but that's it. Trying to delay the mash outs, and they still die. Ah, oh, Melly's like... He's thinking. He's thinking about where he wants to strike next. Oh, the nimble, the dodge, and the drift from Dill in order to get right by this hope with this axe. And if we can see the replay of the final stock, right? That was just so like, tense. Okay, here we go. We what are we seeing see? in a position in a position like this, like Melly is right. for, ha, has been for the entire time, just trying to harass this above space. Mm -hmm to keep Dill from, to either forcing Dill to take it slow, right. or to make her come down faster than she wants. Definitely but be take it slow because she's just been kind of like camping this entire area, right. which is fine. But You're Dill, still making them waste gas. Yeah. And that's a great, if Dill is like somewhere right here, where right. she has to make a decision, like, oh, do I want to go up or down? Well, I kind of have to go up now. Right. Dill has already made the choice to play aggro here. Right. So this axe, which normally is really safe from this high coverage position, turned into a highly punishable option because Dill had already chosen what she chosen what she wanted to do and committed to it. Which, right. Oh, maybe overcommitting there with the shore you can yeah. ride onto the platform. This is a good counter pick, I would say. Managing to actually right. hold on to center stage a lot easier with that mono platform. Yeah. Say what you want about Sora. His stage Hollow Bastion's a great stage. Sora is a great character. What hey, are you talking about? Some people don't like him. Uh, hard disagree. Aww. Did I'm that onesie wearing clown <laughs> out here. <laughs> Look, he's just got so many belts, bro. <laughs> oh, no, that's a Nomura problem. Oh, yeah. True. <laughs> the enemy of his fans. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, re okay, I don't think you've ever seen this, but there was a uh, Nomura, very, you know, yeah. prolific figure. Uh, he one day was like asked by, I believe, uh, DC to design like his version of Batman. His version no, of Batman. That's hilarious. Was, I don't want it. I, I like ninety percent belts and zippers. I don't like that. I, I don't like it either. I, I just like the pocket space of uh, of the utility belt. I think it's fun. No, he, that man created. But more no, pocket he created. Space. He created it all, of course, right. because. He's got to hold all the stuff. Anyway, we're getting into the final slide. Right. Before we start talking about Batman, we got to start talking yeah. about the we, Batman. We, because yes. there is that. Oh my god, no! Saved the by the cross. Him. Oh my god, <laughs> Dill, a believer. Jeez, let's not get into that. <laughs> let's not get into that. All right, that was actually a fire comment. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Melly in the blender. The tech Trying to set up how so slow. You can put out two dash attacks in mid succession. I love how smart that is from Dill. Setting up the gyro on there to at least stuff a bit of that camping game that Melly's expecting. Just no. Okay. Melly is. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, the oh, jacket coming is off. coming off. Get in, loser. We're going to game three. <laughs> One would hope so. Huppies like that are not the way to get there. And Rob just has so many silver bullets against Belmont. That just it can be so hard to not overcome. A, not a werewolf. I mean, he fights werewolves. Woo! Me too. <laughs> oh, setting up again. Good up angle on the forward smash oh. just to make sure that it hits. But no tipper means you're just we're back at neutral instantaneously. Dill, without hesitation on so many of these moves, knows that she's going low. Finds the timing. Pulling out the jump there as well. This is where Melly wants to be. Here we go. It's a really delayed. It didn't ignite, with... but it doesn't yeah. matter. Oh, no, out of gas. A rare occurrence, and Melly's back in it. Yeah. He's like, yeah, taking the jacket was off was the correct play. There are no I more sleeves to be had. Gosh. No. Okay, not overextending. Trying to throw out everything to make some space. He's setting back to ledge. Very dangerous. Oh, the gyro up on top, like I said. Very dangerous. Creating unsafe space for Melee here with this camping game. 
But check out the, the little bit of extra desperation though. Melly has just been wanting to take space. Dill having forcing him to succeed it though, forcing him to dash back. But all of this nickel and diming that Melly has been doing is getting him back no. in this game. The ignition, but the, the wrong turnaround, the wrong direction. Right, oh my god, that gyro is not helping. Did not have a time even to like grab it. Doesn't want to lose that range that he needs. Both oh these parts are burning so much of these resources as Dill burns gas in order to get all the way up there. Go. He's okay. landed. Oh no, there it goes. Dyro helping out at least once. Another cross. Okay. Back to ledge. Off One stage. 164, respecting the horizontal. Down toss. Whoa. But no up smash, no kind of follow up on that it? part. No, they saw the no, jump. We're okay. still fine. No! Okay, living. Just Barely. heavy enough. 199. The, the dive kick to get down here, Swiss. Another no! Nair. One of these is gonna do it as Dill just puts out hitboxes, but that Nair is stale as an old bag no. of lays. They need it, they need it. Okay, they can still make this back. No! Got but, caught with the jump! But even though old bag of lays hits once in a while. <laughs> That's true. It's the last crumb in there. You're it's like, the it's the so last soft. one. Uh, but. The neutral chip goes in the favor of Dill, who continues to walk through this loser's bracket. So now, you know, at that point, I'm thinking like a like a stale bag of lays. It's just baked lays at that point. Well, it doesn't have that extra that extra bit, you know. That's true. That's true. It's extra little, little like a. Little I mean, Dill was playing like a little well, really, really well here with that oh, last sure, interaction. Sure. If we can just see that, slow it down just a tad. Like we're here. Medley's coming back and obviously manages to get back and we have a few options here, right? Like right. manages to get back and yeah. what do we do? He hasn't jumped much. There is no gyro. So this is just all free. But of course, we're trying to cover this landing up here on top if we can just, right? So what yeah. do we have? There's not much room left. And so he decides to go for the jump and oh no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You're gonna see the arc of it right there. Just little by little, and try it. Oh, it was neutral air versus neutral air. Yeah, that's that's gonna get beaten out every day. Of the right, week. every single time, as we see, just the momentum right there, and that hitbox just not making it. And yeah, real shame. Gone all over his face. Gone all over his face. Now, oh like, my god, I, I see think, that man everywhere. I think what I really want to highlight in yeah. this position, like. Consider the, consider the time and the, the way and the place that we're in. Right. We're at 206, 206, and Dill has already successfully won this interaction twice over. Right. Her lose condition is to drop this ledge trap. That's it. Yes. That's all she needs to focus on. Play coverage, play high percentage, don't drop the ledge trap. Hit him with anything, and worst case scenario, you, you reset the situation. Right. You know what covers? All of this space, and I'm gonna I'm breaking break out the no, highlighter. That's okay. All, Do it. All of this space. Oh, the highlighter. Ooh, you I didn't what, even know we you had know a what highlighter. covers all that? Uh, gyro. Rob Neutral Air. Oh, you're right. You know, and Rob Neutral Air, while it does take time to jump, you mm -hmm. do have to wait a little bit to drift. You have to do have the three frame jump squat. You have all you cover all of that space and immediately go into your landing where you can set right. up a down tilt. You can set up a forward tilt, which kills. You can set up a you know a jab like. Who, Whatever you're doing, you just cannot drop the position. And right. that was the key. Reset to this for another two minutes and 55 seconds if you have to. But keeping that position generally means, at 2.06 especially, right. that it would walk away the victor. I think maybe a better option would have been to just kind of wait out as long as possible and wait for Dill to approach. Yeah, you have to stall a little bit. You do have less in vulnerability because you Rip. were at high percent. 206, that's like yeah. two seconds. Yeah. Good Bare, luck. If that. But I do agree that waiting that extra little beat and then going for something that is a little bit harder to hit, like a neutral getup maybe, yeah. or trying for an extra aggro mix-up that has a bit of range, given how right. Dill was playing. Yeah, not that neutral air. Yeah, the neutral air had no range, and but you're trying to stuff uh, stuff out the nair before it comes out. Right. Something like a jump fair a little bit earlier, maybe like buffered as soon as you grabbed off of it, might have caught Dill when she was standing there, but that's a real tough decision to make because yeah. if you jump nair a little bit too late, you get caught by neutral as we saw. Yeah. If you jump fair a little too, uh, rather if you jump nair a little too early, you get caught by the nair. If you jump fair a little too late, then you're fair whiffs and you get caught in the neutral anyway. Mm -hmm. But Melly looks dead set onto pressing some button out of disadvantage to yeah. reestablish neutral. I mean, you're just scared.